Now, as the Latin American country of Panama gears up for its May 5th general elections, presidential contenders held their final debate on Wednesday. However, the headlines were dominated by the candidates who chose to skip the pre-poll exchange. The key absentee was former government minister Jose Raul Molino. Molino is running as a substitute to former president Ricardo Martinelli, who was sentenced to prison for money laundering in October last year. Molino has been leading the pre-poll survey since taking over Martinelli's job. He skipped the previous presidential debates as well. Ricardo Martinelli has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Panama's constitution bars anyone sentenced to five or more years for a crime from running for president. But Martinelli's woes do not end here. The United States has barred the businessman turned politician from entering the country. Although in February this year, the Nicaragua government granted political asylum to the former businessman. Since then, Panama has not allowed Nicaragua to move Martinelli out of the country. The ensuing drama has infused the election with uncertainty. Meanwhile, the remaining candidates tried their best to showcase their potential as the next president at the debate. They promised job creation and assured to manage the country's water crisis. Few contenders even promised to build a new reservoir to ensure efficient water supply to run the Panama Canal. Don't waste your ballot. Vote for the one that has always fought for you. I fought against the terrible revaluations when they wanted to take your house from you and the electrical sector monopolies that keep power expensive, against expensive drugs, against expensive electrical supplies, banking and financial fees that choke us and I have fought against mining. I denounced Odebrecht. This comes as the candidates have challenged the Electoral Commission's decision to let Jose Raul Molino run without a vice presidential candidate. The country's Supreme Court is yet to weigh in on the matter. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.